Woodstock Estate is a proud Australian family-owned winery in McLaren Vale, South Australia. In a world where wine brands come and go, Woodstock remains a shining light, providing its customers with a sense of trust and stability that comes from family, history and provenance, multi-generational vision and persistence. My father Doug was a Spitfire pilot uh, in the Second World War and he was a reconnaissance pilot and uh, he used to live each day like it was probably his last, so he drank like there was no tomorrow as he discovered vino and fell in love with it. He thought, wow, what a great industry, because he, being a reconnaissance pilot, he saw the vineyards of Europe and saw the scale of the industry and thought, why not give this a go in Australia? And uh, he loved this little spot here in McLaren Vale and bought it in case one of his sons was interested and here we are. The Woodstock name dates back to the property's original owners. Woodstock Estate was named by the Townsend family in 1905. They came from Woodstock in Oxfordshire in England, which is a small town at the gates of Blenheim Palace. There's a set of wooden stocks just like this in the, in the centre of the town with five leg holes in it. That was used for public punishment. Uh, people were locked in there for up to three days for crimes, usually involving excess alcohol consumption. And uh, interesting story, but we've named it after that town and kept the name. Just 35 kilometres south of Adelaide, McLaren Vale is one of the oldest winemaking regions in Australia. The Mediterranean climate is ideal for growing grapes. McLaren Vale as a region has got this uh, sea breeze that comes through every afternoon and cools things down, so that gives us good natural acidity. Couple that with ample sunshine, uh, we always get this consistent middle palate richness. They refer to McLaren Vale as being the most consistent premium grape growing region in Australia, and I can see why. Woodstock Estate is lucky to boast some of the oldest vineyards in McLaren Vale, including the flagship The Stocks Vineyard planted in the early 1900s, their Bushvine Grenache Vineyard which was planted in 1920 and even their young vineyards being planted in the early 1970s to the 1980s. In the vineyard we like uh, minimal input so that we're just capturing the essence of the terroir, of the soil, of the sun, of the, of the season. And the seasons deliver, you know, every season is different, but uh, there's a personality and a character that comes through because of their terroir and, and about nature, not about what we're putting into it. Building on the long lineage of two great South Australian winemaking families, Scott has teamed up with master winemaker Ben Glatzer. Together they create terroir-driven wines of compelling quality and consistency. Woodstock make fresh, aromatic whites, opulent, finely structured reds and eclectic after-dinner fortifieds that are memorable, distinctive and most of all, eminently enjoyable. Woodstock has four wine ranges in their portfolio. Firstly, the Bistro series. Fresh and fruit-driven, this Drink Now style range includes a zesty white, an easy-drinking rosé and a soft, approachable red. Then we have the Varietal series. Carefully selected parcels of estate-grown fruit play a pivotal role in this range of wines. Strongly varietal, these aromatic wines display richness and mid-palate typical of McLaren Vale. Next, there's the Companion series, an approachable, food-friendly range of wines made to be consumed as a companion to various food types. And lastly, there's the Flagship series, representing the finest in the Woodstock stable. This range includes the Stocks Shiraz, a single vineyard wine, and a very old fortified is made to a tawny port style consisting of a blend of over 25 vintages. At the heart of the Woodstock property, Scott built a cellar door, restaurant, log cabin accommodation, and wildlife sanctuary to allow people to enjoy good food, fine wine, and hospitality. My father was a pioneer in the wine industry and the founder of Woodstock and I feel like a custodian. I have two sons and a daughter who are also very interested so the future is looking very bright at Woodstock.